Something's off with you. Huh? I mean, call it girlfriend's intuition, but you're hiding something. <sighs> I wanted revenge for what Nick did to you. That's true. Okay, I swear. But there is one thing I left out. I knew it. What? The reason I visited Nick in the first place. Cheryl was blackmailing me. Pardon what? Blackmailing you? How? On the night of the Black Hood, Cheryl saw... <sighs> Cheryl saw me and Betty kiss. What? When? Why and how? It was after you dumped me and Jughead just dumped Betty. Nana Rose had just told us this crazy story about Betty's grandfather and it just happened. You and Betty... Kissed? It was that crazy, out-of-control night, Ronnie. Literally, 40 minutes later, the Black Hood was burying me alive. You and Betty... kissed? We haven't talked about it since. I don't think either of us are ever gonna talk about it again. You know why? Because I believe you. You're being honest with me. And that's more important than a single, my life is in danger kiss. I love you, Ronnie. I love you too. Why do you say anything about what happened with you and Nick? I felt foolish for not seeing him for what he really was. Did you tell anyone else besides Cheryl? Kevin, but that's it. Last time I asked for protection for my father. I want it for Veronica too. She's caught up in this. I don't want her hurt or in trouble. Help us, and she and your father are both off limits. Protected. I want that in writing. Absolutely. But you can't get emotional again. Not like you did with Nick St. Clair. You get emotional, you get sloppy. There's one more thing. If you've been following me around for a while, you must know about the Black Hood. I do. Nice job. In your expert opinion, Agent Adams, do you think we got the right guy? I haven't told anyone about this. But I'm not so sure we did. And so Archie, always trying to do the good, noble thing, took another step further into darkness.